What is electroplating and how does it work? Electroplating is a specialized process that involves depositing a thin layer of metal onto an object, known as the substrate. This process enhances the substrate's appearance, durability, and corrosion resistance, making it invaluable in various industries. Now let's examine the step-by-step -step process involved. Step 1. Preparation. The object to be electroplated, known as the substrate, is thoroughly cleaned to remove any impurities or contaminants. This ensures that the plated layer adheres smoothly and evenly. Step 2. Electrolyte Immersion The substrate is immersed in an electrolyte solution. This solution contains metal ions of the plating material. For example, if you want to gold plate an object, the solution contains gold ions. The electrolyte bath is carefully formulated to ensure a controlled and consistent plating process. Step 3. Electrode Connection A power supply is connected to the substrate and an electrode made of the plating material. The substrate becomes the cathode, which is negatively charged. The metal electrode becomes the anode, which is positively charged. Step 4. Electroplating When the power supply is turned on, metal cations from the electrolyte are attracted to the cathode, the substrate. They gain electrons and are reduced to form a solid metal layer on the substrate. Step 5. Finishing. Once the desired thickness of the metal layer is achieved, the substrate is carefully removed from the electrolyte bath, rinsed to remove any residual solution, and sometimes undergoes additional processes, such as polishing to achieve the desired appearance. Now let's examine the three major electroplating methods. Barrel plating. Small items like screws, nuts, or bolts are placed in a rotating barrel. This rotation causes the substrate within the barrel to tumble, facilitating the uniform application of the coating metal. Since you can have more than one substrate in the barrel, it offers a cheaper option for electroplating high-volume parts. Rack plating. It is used for larger items that can't be tumbled. In this case, substrates stay in one place. They are suspended from racks or hooks, ensuring all surfaces are evenly exposed to the electrolyte. Reel-to-reel -reel plating. This method uses long, continuous objects like wires, strips, or sheets. The substrates pass through chemical baths and electrical processes, ensuring uniform plating along their length. What materials are suitable for electroplating? Electroplating is not limited to one material. It can enhance both metal and plastic substrates. Metals that can be electroplated include copper, brass, stainless steel, and aluminum. These metals are often electroplated to enhance their appearance and provide additional protection. On the other hand, you can also electroplate plastics like ABS and polycarbonate. A layer of metal improves aesthetics and adds durability to plastic parts. Like any process, electroplating has its pros and cons. Let's examine the advantages first. Electroplating provides objects with a lustrous metallic finish that enhances their appearance. Electroplating can also significantly improve the durability of parts and components. Plated components are less susceptible to rust and corrosion. It also improves electrical conductivity, ensuring that electronic components function efficiently. What are the drawbacks of electroplating? First is environmental concerns. Electroplating can produce hazardous waste that endangers the handler and other people in the environment. Secondly, the process can be expensive, especially for precious metals. Achieving a thick plating layer can be challenging, requiring multiple plating cycles. Now, let's see where electroplating shines in the real world. In the automotive industry, think about the shiny chrome bumpers, wheels, and trim on your car. Printed circuit boards and electronics often feature gold or tin plating for conductivity and protection. Aircraft parts that need to withstand extreme conditions are often electroplated for added strength. Steel bolts and fasteners engineered for aerospace applications often undergo chromium electroplating. Medical and dental instruments, such as forceps and various implants, screws and plates, are often electroplated. 
This added layer enhances their resistance to corrosion. The jewelry industry frequently uses electroplating to improve the durability and appearance of various jewelry pieces. If you're interested in electroplating for your projects, explore Rapid Direct's surface finish services. We offer a wide range of options and finishes, ensuring your parts meet the highest standards. If you found this video informative, remember to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing content. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or thoughts, feel free to drop them in the comments below. We love hearing from you.